Pinker. I'll call her Dr. Pinker first. Dr. Pinker was from Franklin County, Virginia, and he moved down here. He was a self-taught doctor, so he did not go to school, he did not go to college. He, the community himself gave him the title doctor. He was what they called a herbal doctor. He owned property where Lowe's is on 220. He built a property called Pinkert Court. A lot of people in this room, I'm sure, know people and have family that used to live in Pinkert Court. He owned a bank. It's called Acorn Bank. And it's, the building is still standing. And it's right over here on, I believe that's Salem Avenue. Salem Avenue. The building is still standing. And it was called Acorn Bank. And this is a black man in the 1900s who owned a housing development, who owned a bank, and who also had a chauffeur. <clears throat> Dr. Isaac D. Burrow, he came here to Roanoke in the late 1890s after graduating Shaw University. When Dr. Isaac D. Burrow came here, there was no medical facilities for African Americans here. As soon as he touched the grounds of Roanoke, he wanted to build a hospital for African Americans. He was not able to see that dream come true because of institutional racism. He was denied surgery for gallstones at a local white hospital. He had to travel over 200 miles with his wife in the, in the back of a boxcar to Washington, D.C., to Freedman's Hospital, where he received surgery, but later would pass away. Dr. Isaac D. Burrow and his wife, Margaret Burrow, who was a longtime educator, they both are buried in Williams Memorial Park. But because of institutional racism, Dr. Isaac D. Burrow never was allowed to see a hospital built for African Americans. Dr. John Pinkert, because of institutional racism, housing projects were destroyed for things like Lowe's and things like Home Depot. Because of institutional racism, they said we need to put a factory or a Lowe's here and we're gonna wipe out your housing development. He had passed away long, long before that happened but because you do not matter as much as this Lowe's and the customers that come to this Lowe's, institutional racism wiped that out. <clears throat> Burrow Memorial Hospital. Burrow Memorial Hospital was the first African-American hospital in Southwest Virginia. The top picture here is the first Burrow Memorial Hospital, and this building was in the parking lot of First Baptist Gainsborough. It was owned by Dr. James H. Roberts. Um, then they moved to the Allegheny Institute. A lot of people do not know that the Allegheny Institute was owned by an African-American named Albert Brooks. Alleg the Allegheny Institute was a boy's home. And, it, and it, when, when this building was knocked down and they needed to move to a larger facility, they moved to the Allegheny Institute on McDowell Avenue, where this borough now stands. It is now Blue Ridge Healthcare. 